And now at this point, because you mentioned that you're already starting with your interview training, we will give you in this portion a Q&A challenge. Woo! Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. So uh, we'll, you will short, pick- Make uh, it short. Two, you know that. Yeah, you will pick two, <laughs> two questions uh, and then just give us your answer. So uh, give me a number from one to 10. Um, okay, um, let's say seven. Number seven. So question number seven is, what is something that you have done that you will never do again? Well, one day, um, it was a busy day, actually. I had projects. I had to go to my charity works with my um, organization. And I had also to study for my exams. Uh, and my university and I totally forgot about my mom's birthday oh my god and I knew I know I, I know of course I know my mom's birthday but I totally forgot because it was one of the busiest day uh, of my week and uh, to solve this problem um, I, of course, uh, she, she, I apologized for that <laughs> because of my mom. And she was like, I know you're a hard, you are working really hard, but I, I'm not upset actually. I will forgive you. So don't worry. I cried in tears. I, I was all in tears and I couldn't stand because I thought that, what well, is my mom? I mean, it's the person that I love the most, the person that gave birth to me and I forgot about her birthday. And to solve this problem, I actually made a calendar with all the birthdays of my uh, family, of my family members, of my friends. And now I solved this problem and I got a reminder uh, a day before the event. So I'm not forgetting <laughs> any important birthdays at all. And also she forgave me with chocolate and a bunch of flowers. So <laughs> everything is clear now. And she, she was happy at the end of the day. <laughs> That's a good uh, advice, right? To keep a keep a calendar with the birthdays yeah. of the, your loved ones. It, it, okay, it, so yeah, <laughs> go 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 go, go Bianca. And you know, just one thing: we need to be organized, and that's why I made the, the calendar. Yeah. So yes. please. <laughs> okay, uh, give me another number for your next question. Um, eight. <laughs> Number eight. Yeah. As an international ambassador, do you think that speaking English should be a prerequisite for Miss Universe? Why or why not? No, I think the most important thing is how how we deliver our information, how we speak, and how we can um, reach a conversation and connect with others. It's not important if you know English or any language. It's important how you deliver and how you express your feelings. And actually, here I'm in Italy, and I got this. Um, I got today to meet a great person from the hotel department. And he actually didn't speak English, but I really was really grateful that he managed to try to really try to say something in English. And I appreciated that. And that's the most important thing, actually, to appreciate that someone is trying really hard to speak in English and to deliver the information. But that that's the most important thing, not to know English or another language. Very good answer. Very well said. Well said. <laughs> I'm speaking I know, a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know I said we'll only give you two questions, but are you game to have another one? Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, you give me another number. One. Give you me another number. Okay, I saw this discussion was actually uh, commented by one of our friends, Adam Henato. Hi, Adam. Hi. I know you also Hi, Adam. have an interview with Adam. So uh, this was probably he's going to be the next interview, Bianca. Yeah. What is the greatest contribution of your country to the entire world? Well, um, today going on a plane uh, is something people do often. But did you know that the first propylene jet was built and designed by a Romanian? Mm -hmm. 
So that's, uh, I think that's one of the biggest contributions to the world that a uh, Romanian inventor, um, his name was Henry Kwanda, uh, and actually we have the airport from the Bucharest, uh, the capital city uh, of Romania. We have the airport uh, named today uh, by after him. So that's one of the things, but we have so many, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah. Are we seeing you in Romania if the team of soldiers will be there? We would love to be to go to Romania. Yeah, I would love to be in Romania soon. Actually, I promise you we will make a trip because if I'm going to the Philippines, you are really warm invited invited here in my country. I mm -hmm. love it. And I, I hope the situations will get better soon, so you get to travel here for your training. So now I want to. I'm interested to know because um, you you will be competing in Miss Universe, but I'm sure you also look at um the former winners of Miss Universe. So, who among the Miss Universe winners do you look up to, and why? Well, I have so many. Um, Miss Universe title holders looking up to. I mean, um, they're such a strong and powerful and inspiring women. And I need to say that I am looking for, I, I mean, I love Paulina Vega. Uh -huh. Since 2017, since I competed in Miss Supernational, I was looking for her. Uh, and her actions. So Miss Universe 2014, um, I'm inspired also by Catriona Gray and Pia Grupa, Miss Universe uh, 2015 and Miss Universe 2018. They're so, they're filled with kindness, fears, and they're confidently beautiful in our world. Um, and yeah, that these three women, inspired me a lot in my journey and actually now for miss universe okay thank you i just, yeah. I just oh, want to know how are you going to introduce yourselves um to your fellow candidates as miss romania yeah uh, how i can introduce i'm sorry how will you introduce, how will you introduce romania how will you introduce romania to your fellow candidates oh well romania is an attractive country for tourists with different activities available, historical monuments, and probably it's one of the most um, of the greatest country with great gastronomy, but it's filled with hardworking people. Wow. <laughs> Short, but so much information. <laughs> Short, because we yeah. have lots to show, but we yes. will see this in my next project more mm. about Romania. No, yeah. But anyway, no. can you ask a little bit during preparation, okay, Drew? Okay. Because I have some more questions. Because I've learned that you were trained, you have a mentor in the Philippines right now. So, so far, what have you learned from this mentor to Makoy? I learned more. Yes. Oh, you, you can hear me? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Well, one thing that I learned is how to deliver how to impact with my words. So that's why I actually want to, to give and to deliver uh, not words, but impacting message messages. And that's why I want not to talk that much. I want to not to explain that much, but um, that's one thing that I learned to how to deliver with, with my heart actually what I'm feeling and to impact the world with my words. Okay. Now this will be the last question about, related to your preparation for Miss Universe. So this question is actually asked by Kenji. Oh, Kenji! Yeah, Kenji. <laughs> so will you be a different Bianca at Miss Universe compared with what we have seen at Miss International? And how is your game plan going to be different this time? Well, um. I will not be the dif a different Bianca. Actually, I will be 
I will be me, actually. I will uh, develop myself in a better version, but I will show, I will always show you and on social media, on platforms and on platforms like Miss Universe, was a real Bianca actually, and at Miss Supernational, Miss International, I was I was the same actually. I was the same person. The difference was, uh, what I showed is all the time I'm I'm showing more, and at Miss Universe I will show more of Bianca, and you will see, um, a kind Bianca, more kind Bianca, a fierce one, and a hard work in more hard working person. Hi Kenji, shout out to Kenji. Kenji is actually our Mythology Japan correspondent who covered Miss Hi Japan. Kenji. Hi Kenji. Okay, now this is the controversial question. A lot of our viewers have been asking about this. You were recently involved in a in a controversial issue about a, a recent photo shoot that you had, and you apologized for, for doing that uh, photo shoot. So people are asking. And um, actually, the photo shoot um, received a lot of comments, which included one of your co-candidates, uh, Miss uh, Universe Canada, Nova Stevens. So a lot of our viewers are asking, have you talked to Miss Canada and are you okay? Yeah, actually, we talk about this controversy and we manage this situation to not affect our relationship as delegates in the next miss in the next uh, beauty pageant um and i hope everyone knows that there there was no malicious intent behind my actions and i want to apologize again for my um, actions and for my less understanding the actually the the situation because in my country we don't have many um, communities of people of color but we actually respect everyone we are so kind and respectful uh, with everyone and that's the thing that I was impressed that my my action really hurt someone and gave a bad impact in the world but I was raised to help in overcoming that's the fun thing that i was raised to help and to overcome these issues not cause them so yeah for my family and for everyone that knows me they know that i'm not i'm not that type of person um but i just need to move on and to be respectful and to learn from my experience actually i learned a lot and i read so many um articles about that and now i know more about this subject as i did before mm, but i'm the same person and i will respect them nor the situation you have a yeah. message to to the pageant fans who continue to comment on the issue and who also some some people are also attacking you and Miss Canada and they, they keep on pitting you against each other. So do you have any message to them? I hope I never hurt anyone. <laughs> and I hope they understand the situation. Um, and I just hope that everyone will learn from my mistake. And I hope everyone will receive the love from our platforms and the meaning of our platforms because our purpose is to align ourselves and uh to really make a change in the world so that's what i'm doing with miss universe canada we are we have some legacy projects ourselves and we are actually uh want to uh give this give this to the world actually because our purpose as a miss universe you need to align um the purpose is to align ourselves to really make a change so that's the most important thing if you mistake you need to learn your your um you need to learn your lesson but if you want to make a change you need to action and i hope i really hope i never did this i will never have problems in the future with this kind of subjects because i don't want to hurt anyone i don't want to be understand in a way that uh, i'm not 
so I in the future I want to show more of Bianca and how is in person because I think nobody actually knows me uh, the same way as my family and friends do. That's so, so nice of you, Bianca. I hope that yeah. ends the issue, everyone. And uh, on a lighter note, you just want to give a shout out to.